Have you ever wondered how a simple bolt and nut are made? Let's dive into Korea's first manufacturing plant with over 60 years of legacy. It all begins with wire rod or first drawn and straightened to achieve a consistent diameter. Once the diameter is uniform, the rod is fed into a cutting machine that chops it into specific lengths based. Next, the blank enters the cold forging stage. Using high pressure mechanical, the head of the bolt is formed into its desired shape through successive dies and punches. This cold forming process increases the material's strength by refining its grain structure. After forging, the bolt blank still lacks threading. To form the threads, the bolt is sent through a thread rolling machine. Unlike cutting, thread rolling is a cold forming process where the bolt is rolled between two dies with thread profiles. This method displaces material rather than removing it, creating stronger and more wear resistant threads. Now let's look at how hex nuts are made. Raw steel bars arrive and are transported to the forging line. They're heated to 1200 degrees Celsius and cut to size. The cut billets are then transferred to a forging press, where they are compressed and shaped into their characteristic hexagonal outer profile with a central pilot hole. They are performed under high pressure, defines both the shape and initial alignment for the internal threading. Then we move on to tapping. The step where internal threads are carefully carved inside the nut, allowing it to lock securely with a bolt. You can clearly see the screw line forming inside. Following threading, the nuts are subjected to heat treatment, which typically involves quenching and tempering to enhance hardness, tensile strength, and wear resistance. Finally, bolts and nuts are precisely matched and assembled using automated machinery to ensure proper fit and alignment. If you want another manufacturing processes, let us know in the comments.